Hey everybody, Dwayne Johnson here, coming at you from my home here in beautiful Hawaii. I wanna first say thank you guys so much for supporting all of my projects and rocking with me uh, throughout the years. And speaking of rock, uh, thank you for supporting Young Rock, which my castmates will be discussing with Akeem today for IGN Fan Fest. Now I understand there were a few fan questions that came in, hundreds actually, uh, but I'd like to take the time to answer just one. And this one is from user BA Parks Official. And that question is, what made you want to transition from wrestling to become an actor? Well, uh, that's a great question, BA. Thank you for the question. The answer is this. I was looking to push myself more. And what I mean by that, in the world of pro wrestling, which I love, it's in my DNA, it's deep in my blood, my bones, because I grew up in wrestling. Um, as a matter of fact, we were here uh, on the island of Hawaii, where my grandfather, the legendary high chief Peter Maivia, my grandmother, Leah Maivia, they ran a local wrestling promotion here. Uh, for years, so I grew up in the world of wrestling, traveled all around the world with my family. I love wrestling, and I was so fortunate and lucky in the world of pro wrestling to become Flex Kavana, then Rocky Maivia, then The Rock, then the People's Champion, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Uh, I, I was able to have this incredible wrestling career um, and accomplish so much in wrestling. Uh, that I was looking to accomplish more. And my, my next goal uh, to push myself was to become an actor. So when I first got into acting, I wanted to make sure that I worked with the best acting coaches when I first broke into acting and I still work with them today. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I had the kind of career that had longevity, that also had uh, diversity. So I wanted to become an actor who could kick ass in action roles, comedy, action comedy, drama, sci-fi, musicals, you name it, I wanted to do it. And since then, again, I've been really lucky and fortunate as an actor uh, to not only work in so many different genres, but also been so lucky to have been part of incredibly big franchises that have entertained and move families all around the world. So uh, it all comes down really to growth. And I wanted to grow as a person, as an actor, as an entertainer, as a human being, as a dad, as a father, as a husband, all these things uh, that, that transitioning from wrestling to acting allowed me to do as an entrepreneur, as a businessman. I always wanted to control the things that I control could control with my own two hands and putting in the work with my own two hands. Okay, thank you, BA, for that question. I'm gonna let my friends from Young Rock take it from here, and I hope you guys enjoy this exclusive clip from our Young Rock season three finale. And I hope you all have a great fan fest, IGN. Get the tequila, get the terramana, and get up. They'll just beat that. See you guys. How you doing, brother? How you feeling after SNL? It was a rush, right? Unreal. Is it true that you and I are the only wrestlers to host a show? Yes, sir. Pretty exclusive club. <laughs> hey, what y'all doing in here? Just got the Mount Rushmore wrestling in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Not know, right? Look at us. <laughs> the Rikings. <laughs> we did it. All right, I'll see y'all out there. <laughs> so what's next for The Rock? I'm sure everyone wants a piece of you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it all out. You know, Vince has a great plan for me this year, and the fans and the ratings have all been incredible. But? <laughs> but I'm definitely curious about where this acting thing could go. I just don't know if it makes sense right now. You know, I mean, in a lot of ways, I feel like I'm at the mountaintop. Why do more? Who knows if I can even juggle both? Been there, brother. Why keep climbing if you're already at the summit? Exactly. Anytime I feel like I've reached my ceiling, I just think, what if that ceiling is just a floor to something else? Back when I was at the top of WWF, I decided to try and push through that ceiling. <laughs> Maybe a little too far with Suburban Commando and Mr. Nanny and, <laughs> whoa, no holds barred. But I crushed Jim Gremlins too. Oh, yeah. But hey, that's just me. I hear you, Hawk. But honestly, I'd be happy if everything stayed just like this. I got news for you, Ron. Whether you pursue acting or not, your life ain't staying like this. What? 
We don't work at State Farm, man. Nothing stays the same for long in this business. We're all just one match away from an injury, one match away from the fans falling in love with a new guy. Ten years ago, you think I ever thought I'd be a heel with jet black beard hair? Hell no. So you're saying I should test my ceiling? Only you'll know the answer to that. When the time comes, you'll know. You know, Mr. Nanny wasn't that bad. It was bad. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.